Not only does Gemtazu want to be mummified, he's already testing the seat in which it may happen. He's passing on the tradition to his grandson, and his nephew embraces this family obligation. You think it would be hard for you to mummify Gemtazu? I couldn't do it. Mm. It's, it's our culture, yeah. and we know, we know how to do it. What they know how to do is preserve a body, and most importantly, one critical part. You still have the face. I mean, they always talk about yeah. the face, yeah. and you still see the face of the person. Yeah, and you have that connection. Mm. The next day, Gemtazu's son explains his connection to mummification. It has less to do with warm feelings about customs and more about cold cash. Uh, because time making this plan, I'm custom to me. Now, all tourists, when they come, all must buy this land I want up. So, when they buy me making, long and buy me money I'm making. That's the life. As Ula considers the new plan, she realizes that it can also serve traditional goals. Actually, that's really smart because in your tradition, to have the mummies, mummies, they are there to look out for the people in the village. Is it true? Yeah. And then, if Gentazo would be mummified, he would still be able to look out for you, yes. like to protect you, protect but also give you some sort of income okay. if you have some people passing through yeah. here. Mm. Smart thinking. If mummification does come back to Koke village, it will be pay-per-view. Gemtazu now demonstrates a crucial step in body preservation. He showed me how he wants to be mummified. He took my arm and demonstrated with this really strong grip how to take out the body fluids from the arm. Even for a hardened traveler like Ula, what comes next is too much. And then the moment where they kind of took my head. This was like really freaky. So you have to make sure that the skin doesn't come off and you have to hold the bones very tight. And I just could imagine Yang Teng, his son, doing this to his father, to Gemtazu. They make a stick so he can sit on the stick, so it basically goes up the backside and then all the intestines come out. Mm. At last, using a real carcass, that of a pig, Gemtazu's clan will reveal how mummies are made. The pig, unlike a person, has been gutted and splayed. Those tending the body scrape the skin with a leaf from a kind of nettle that may keep pores open to let liquids flow out. Punctures from sharp sticks can help more fluid strain. Moisture works against preservation, so the early stages of the process are focused on drying. Fluids drip out of the pig just as they would from a cadaver. And so Andrew Nelson, the anthropologist on the team, puzzles over what the Yanga did with the human juices 